uh, I'm gonna share the last part of this workshop. Yeah, uh, last topic is uh, I'm gonna explain how to we use the notes in the video several like touch designer and D3. So there are different two types, two ways uh, to save the notes. There are ways to save the project file itself and uh, to save it for the use in the video server. In the media server, you can use the notes like a third party plugin by using only the created visual or the exposing the properties separately. So let's start with a simple particle example like this. And first we have two exposing properties, which is really simple. So uh, click the question mark and press the expose property button and we can set the name or group and identify or reset it so i'm going to just press the okay button and we can check about this on the here exposed window and bossd right here yeah, it shows yeah which uh, uh, which property you uh, did are exposed. So I'm gonna add a property exposed particle opera from the point R rendering. Press OK on particle size, exposed property and OK. So let's select a project and compile block for the media server. So we can set the file name in here. And I'm gonna set the file name for the, oh yeah, this is already exist. So block test and save it and okay. Yeah, we don't need this project anymore. So I run the touch designer for the test about the, this block. Sorry. Uh, so we need a, a Dutch top operator. And we will uh, set the blog file in here, press the this button and uh, listen pilot is TDSW blog test. Yeah, it takes some time and yeah, we can see the features that we uh, created. So uh, we will adjust the resolution in the common in the here I will select the FHD size. Yeah. And we can see the expels properties in the here. So we can uh, use the properties by uh, Tootsie Genders parameter system. So I'm going to make this uh, for reacting my voice. So uh, uh, let's go into chop and add a uh, audio device in and set my mic couple like this yeah it's responding of my voice and just the preference and i'm gonna add a audio dynamic to amplifier yeah about my voice and on the spectrum and analyze to get a value of this, my voice, yeah. So I can grab the value about the uh, expert properties, but I would add a mess, sorry, a mess chop hmm, to multiply this the value, input value. So I would, uh, 
the input gain was really small, so I would uh, adjust the multiply like 10 or 20. Yeah, this one is really great. So I'm gonna click the your active button and grab the mass value to the turbulence of vector velocity amount. So grab this here, select export chop or the chop reference. So click here. And we're going to, yeah, we can see about the particles turbulence that responding on my voice. Yeah, which is really cool. Yep. Mm -hmm -hmm. Nice. So, and I'm gonna add the interactive system about the particle alpha and the particle side. So I'm gonna make a, another mess. And first I will connect this to the particle alpha. Yep. Yeah, this one is, looks great, but uh, our one is too big, so I will adjust about the uh, multiply to or of the one. Yeah. This will be great. And I will make a last mass operator and connect with the particle size. Yep. And operand multiply or then one. Hey, okay. test, 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 test. Yeah, uh, it looks much better. So we can uh, make a uh, the system in the touch gen really simply. So uh, this was just my voice, but we can use the uh, connect system or uh, Hokuyo sensor or Merlin motion, whatever you want. Yeah, um, I'm just showing about and uh, you can make it simple to respond out to uh, signal by uh, Tetsu Jaina. Yeah, um, now let's move on to the district manager. Yeah. Great. And we're gonna run the district manager. So Dressing Manager should create a new project right here, file and new project. So set a uh, project name like TSW block test create. So we can yeah, see about the new project right here. And we have to copy this a uh, notch block by a control C and right click the project and open project further. So we have to paste to the uh, project object and the notch file and paste it. Yeah. Uh, this one is just a default file, so you're gonna ignore this or the just delete it. So the file setup is done, so we will run the district manager. So double click it. And this way you will launch, but it takes a long time. Yeah, this is the district manager window, so we have to add a uh, notch layer by cl light click over right here. And we have to set up the layer name over right here. I'm gonna like name about the notch tests and press okay. So we have to find the notch content 
downloading content actually. So uh, scroll it and we can find it by the generate tip notch. So click it and we have to set the timeline in here. I'm gonna make this long term of the loop. Yeah, it's like a 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, if we press the space button, but doesn't uh, show come out to the in this surface. So we have to uh, select effect in here, which is known. And we have to click it, and uh, we have to select this uh, the block files we listen to make. So td block test. And if we play it, we can see about this visuals made on the Notch project. And we also can see about the properties like point to render, alpha, alpha size, and turbulence of factor like this. Yeah, isn't it simple? And I'm gonna make this uh, respond on my voice too. So uh, we have to click the device and yeah, new device manager. So I think I will audio react, press the OK. And press the device plus. And we're gonna use the um, on your analyzer. Yeah. Press this and click X and double click this. Oh, sorry. Uh, right click this, and we can we can uh, desire about uh, which lines we will use, like a line left or line right on the stereo size. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna make uh, velocity amount will be respond about the line left. So uh, since this is this program is not uh, based on node programming, so we have to uh, wrote write a simple script right here. So we have to right click if I write. Uh, here and we're gonna have to uh, write the expression like here. Now it comes in a cell like uh, we set the notch in before. So we have to set one multiply of the line the line on the bra left dot C and zero two thousand. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna have to explain uh, what this expression means. So uh, this number is just how many times the audio level is multiplied and the audio line line left is to select a line from the one of the stereo channels and that C and zero a thousand is the to set frequency the range of the zero channels. So now we can proceed about the expression to amount of list of the turbulence. So uh, now do you see change depending on my what I'm talking about? Yep. The small points are so small. Yeah. So, yeah, this five is much better than responding very well. So, and we have to the, set up the about the resolution about right here. Just click about uh, right click about the surface. We can say the resolution setting or mesh about the uh, projection. 
like we can uh, use uh, default meshes about like a uh, dome projection. Oh, sorry, scale is must be same in the dome. Yeah, like here. Or we just used a about the atom I go rectangle. Oh, sorry, theater. And Logitech can be changed about right here. And we're gonna grab and change about the position like this. Yeah, and we can uh, settle the prime light light here. This time it was 60. And we can back to stage, double click it, and we can set a solution about our visuals like this. And we can uh, set the project the type and resolution is like square type. And positions can be changed like this. Yeah, like this in the T3 and Touch Designer, you can easily make our visuals to uh, responsive. So uh, this will also end up explaining about the major server management and end of this workshop. So thank you for uh, thank you to everyone who watched this workshop and a big thank you to the TDSW team for the organizing this workshop. Thank you everyone.